MBS show, episode number 29. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Daniel Anthony. Good evening. So, Daniel, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty tired. Spent the whole day hacking on my Unify modem. Well, good for you then. Yep, I've got double Wi-Fi signal in my house right now. Well, this week's guest is no one. Uh, it seems that everybody's on a long holiday since tomorrow is going to be Malaysia Day. Yep. And Daniel, do you know anything about Malaysia Day? Oh yes, uh, it's 16th of September, which is tomorrow, and uh, 16 days away from our Independence Day, which was on the 31st of August. It's the day that, well, we got the name Malaysia, because before this we were the Federation of Malaya, a different name. So yeah, we became Malaysia, like an upgrade, you know, where Windows updates your computer, yeah. Well, that's interesting. So long holiday, everybody's going, well, they're going away to somewhere. Well, technically, it's not a long holiday. It's three days, but Malaysians will make a long holiday out of anything. Indeed. So, no guess means short show. Yay. So, to all of you guys who are complaining that we have a long episode, well, this must be your lucky day then. Mm-hmm. So, moving on to housekeeping. If you didn't know, IDW Publishing will be making the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic comic book. If you want the comic book but can't find it at your local bookstore, don't worry. Andy Price, one of the creators of the comic, has personally retweeted us saying that you can get the comic online once it's out. Yeah, soft copy downloads will be available. Um, We're not sure whether it's going to be free. I don't think it will be. But yeah, of course. Why not? I can't wait. I'm actually excited about the comic. Yeah, have you seen the cover pictures? They look so amazing. Yeah, and the artwork is... How do I put this? It's not the same as the official My Little Pony artwork, but... This is going to be another interesting thing to own. Yeah, because uh, I, I don't mean to sound offensive or anything, but, you know, if you look at typical um, MLP merchandise on the shelf, you see a lot of stock and, uh, you know, default vectors of the ponies. This is really something new. True indeed. Well, I guess I can find it across the border, but, yeah, it won't be the same. Well, we can order them, of course. Online? Yeah, it'll definitely be on Amazon. Do you have an Amazon account? Oh wait, Amazon doesn't ship to Malaysia. Yeah. Why Amazon? Why? I got no idea. So anyway, let's move into news topic. And in today's news topic, meanwhile, at the Funrise Toy Office. A while back we talked about the affordable pony plush that was available at Target. Now, the company that's making the plush... Funrise Toys are giving us a sample at their My Little Pony production manager's office. In their office, we can see that they're working on a lot of varieties and sizes. If you look really closely, you might even spot a certain disc jockey pony. Links and pictures can be found in the show notes. So, you can't deny it. This guy, whoever sits in this office, this product manager's office, I don't care if this was a framed picture, he is a brony. How can you say that? You definitely can. You spend one day in this office, there is no way that you can escape all that daw and diabetes. True. And, well, most of the plush looks like prototypes, so I guess you have to work on them. Because, like, Pinkie Pie's mane is like Pinkie Mina Diana Pie's mane. It's going to be very hard to do the fluff, but I got to say, these are one, these are some, I mean, if you don't count the mane much, these are some of the most show realistic pony plushies I've ever seen. Yeah, because the f- they look really close to the toys. You know, they look like the oversized toys, but just huggable. Well, some of the fan created ones are much better, I think. Well, you know who you are. But do you see the disc jockey pony? Yeah, yeah, I can. In fact, I don't know how I managed to spot him because my eyesight is getting worse by the day. Him? Don't you mean her? Oh, sorry, her. Yeah. Wait, now how did I miss that? Damn. So anyway, looks like they're pushing out the main six slowly, but. That one little sneaky DJ pony there. Yeah, so if you're listening to us, and if you happen to walk into Target, see any of these ponies, email us, we want to know how much they cost, we want to know where they are, we want to know how they look like. So Daniel, why don't you take the next one? Alright, sure. So, Hub World now has just released a new set of games for people to enjoy, especially us bronies. The first is a Parasprite and Fluttershy game where you match up Parasprites from the launcher with a Parasprite ball above. And second, you have another pony quiz which just got released. It's the third in the Royal Wedding set, the interactive Flash application. You can check them all out on Equestria Daily and the links are in our show notes. This is really interesting. Puzzle Bubble has officially been ponified. Yep, and it's fun. And it's free! Come on, you would play it for ponies. 
Yeah, and the game's it's easy to play, but it's hard to master. Mm-hmm. And Paris Price have not made an official return until now, since they appeared in Season 1. Is this really official? I mean, it's a game by Hub World, so basically it's an official return. Okay, looks interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm playing it right now, and oh god, is it hard. <laughs> oh, the Paris Price keeps coming. Oh, leave me alone. Uh, that's, what, that's the thing about these kind of games. They're hard. It may be a little frustrating, but it's addictive. Indeed. If only they were on Facebook. Seriously, I spend most of my time on Facebook. And if I'm on Facebook, people know I'm playing this game. Well, I don't go on Facebook that often unless I get like a notification in my phone. But if this is on Facebook, I wouldn't turn off the notifications. I'm like, you put it, somebody just challenged you to swarm with a Paris Prize. I don't care if it's 3 a.m. Challenge accepted. Uh, uh, yes. I'm, I'm playing it right now, seriously, it's fun. I wish I can just turn up the volume so you can just hear me play. Oh, this is fun, seriously, this is fun. Oh boy, so um, sh- should we move on? Because I could keep playing this game all day long. Yeah, I get what you mean. Not much for the week, but hey, you guys got a new game to play, so yeah, go have fun, knock yourselves out. Yeah, challenge each other to see who has the highest score. Let's petition to get this on Facebook. <laughs> Well, before we move on to that, don't we have shoutouts to give? Oh, yes, yes, we have plenty of shoutouts. So, why don't you go first? Okay, so my shout-out is to Apple Cider and Chef Sandy. Well, recently, Sergeant Pinky and I got to attend a live broadcast of Bronyville, and we had a great time listening to their show. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for a great show. Yeah, and by the way, it's Saint Pinky, not Sergeant Pinky. I don't work for the army. But it was really great having that one day when you had a little odd show to listen to you all. That was really fantastic. Thank you so much for putting on such a great show. Yep, yep. And thanks for picking my song. And my second shout out is to Dusty Cat. On his recent show, Stay Brody, My Friend, he talked to Black Griffin about how Japanese find it hard to get some of the Western jokes. He said that he had a talk to some Malaysian bronies about it, and when I asked, was it us, he said, and I quote, Who else do I know in Malaysia? Dusty Cat, you're awesome, and I'm proud to be your Malaysian friend. So, do you have any shoutouts? Alright, my first shout-out is to Saber Spark and Paleo. I listened in to Brody Breakdown live for the first time yesterday. And I tell you, I couldn't stop listening to the songs you guys introduced. You guys put so many new things on my playlist. Keep up the good work. Any more? Got anyone else to shout-out to? Yeah, basically, I had to attend a meeting yesterday with the Taylor's Anime Society. I had one, hour, I had two hours to kill on campus, and when I sat down, there was all herp dirt. Until the boss came in and said, "Hey, y'all, new members are here," and I was a new member, and I don't watch anime, so he said, "I want y'all to introduce yourself, starting with the guy on the right," and that happened to be me. So I got up and said, "Hi, I'm Daniel. I don't watch anime." <laughs> And basically, right after that, I said, I'm here because I'm a brony. And right across the room, somebody shouted, Rainbow Dash is best pony! Wow, awesome. So, did you agree or did you not agree? Of course not. Pinky is best pony. You're so wrong. So, you became friends with that person? This is really sad because I had to bail right after that. And this is a re- But it was a really good pickup because on Monday, I walked down the stairs in uh, uni and I saw someone wearing a flooded Yay shirt. And I'm like, oh my god, cool, another brony. And he just said, no, I'm not a brony. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, no problem then. I mean, a brony is more than a person who does listen to podcasts and read fanfics or whatnot. It's just a person who loves the show. So anyway, before we end, just a reminder to you guys, last week we announced that we'll be having a contest. And this week, I've decided what we should do. So we will be holding a contest. What we want you to do is send us your artwork. It may be in the form of a digital drawing, traditional drawing, or even a comic inspired from an episode of our show. All entry must be submitted to our email, show at gmail.com. Contest will end when all three prize are given away. So for further information, you can find us at facebook.com slash show. Well, I'll just put in the contest rules in the show notes just to make things easier for you guys. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can always contact us at show at gmail.com. And you can also reach our Twitter page. Our Twitter handle is at the MBS Show. And I'm at Norman Sanzo. I'm at St. Pinky. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. And like our Facebook page. Links will be provided in the show notes. So I've been Norman Sanzo. I've been Daniel Anthony. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.
done to me Now I can't believe my eyes or ears with you These days, you just roll your eyes Press your lips and try to walk on by You had a reputation, now you've only got an attitude Can I say? You're yeah, such a drama queen Tell me this is just a dream So um, should we move on? Because I could keep playing this game all day long. Yeah, I get what you mean. I'm just playing it right now. Seriously, I'm not doing anything else. This is fun. Actually, it's a, I, I just tried it out for a second. This is a really, really great modification of the actual game. Yep, there's because a lot like, of... The, the, the original one is uh, Puzzle Bubble is quite simple. It's not really even as complicated. This is kind. This is quite a good... Upgrade? Yeah, it would be something like an upgrade. It's, to- it's a totally new feel that you get to it. Because, you know, in Puzzle Bubble, this is very static. This one, it spins. I know, but this is not the first thing that ever came out. Because, like, if you play a lot of Facebook games, this has been done by somebody else, too. Yeah, but it's got pony, so basically, it works even better like that, you know? I know! So much fun! Like, That's pony logic. <laughs> yeah, we could just keep doing this and not pay attention to the show. Like, challenge each other on whose score is higher. Oh, it bounces off the walls. Yeah, I know. I was surprised that I was surprised to that too. Yeah. Did it bounce on off the screen? Oh, it won't go off the screen no matter what you do. Yeah, this, uh, I'm just playing this game seriously. Okay, okay, I, I need to stop because we yeah, have a show to do. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta close this before I spend the rest of the night on it. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Yeah! Okay, anyway.